In July, I went in for my first uh, routine colonoscopy because I had turned 50. Yes, sir. And I ended up testing positive for a uh, cancerous polyp. And I had surgery in August and they removed the polyp and uh, I had something called a resectioning. And it wasn't the cancer that had me as distressed as what followed the surgery, which is one third of patients go into a severe depression following surgery. And it's just not something that people know. So it really hit me in the back of the head like a two by four. The depression is something that's very challenging when you think you're going crazy uh, and you think you're alone and you think you're never gonna get better. And the reality is when you find out that so many people are going through this and you go, oh, this is a normal complication and I'm not crazy and I will get better, it's just a matter of time. So that was, that was really more of the life-changing experience for me than the cancer. I was never disappointed in who rose to the occasion, but I was unbelievably pleasantly surprised by the love in this community. And I just want to get that out there. If you ever want to bring anything up about how wonderful Dallas is, I have always wondered where my home is, because as you can see from my bio, I've lived a lot of places. And when I felt the love and compassion of both my colleagues and my friends that I didn't even know were my friends, I knew that this is where I would retire, where I would spend the rest of my life. Dallas is the place.